You so-called powers, your Sangoma powers. You have failed to change lives in Nigeria. You want to come and change lives in Zambia. Idiot. Who do you think? You are nothing in West Sia 1. You are nothing. You are just a squambapa. Code Sia 1. Sia 1, you are nothing. Stop even involving body. Stop involving HH in your nonsense. Of there is no way you there is no way hh can allow you to come you thought that you can you can you can brainwash hh you can't brainwash hh you can't brainwash this government that is there you can't brainwash them they don't believe in papa powers believing in working the reason why is look right now you are failing to succeed in your country so now you have no food where you are staying you have not you are faking a life for zambia you shall not prophesy doom over zambia Makaka watch the entire video my lovely viewers i mean from start to finish to get the whole thing without wasting much of your time let's get right into it Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Why am I going to talk about these people? First of all, I'm going to talk about Sia One because Sia One is not a, a Zambian, but a foreigner. And I don't know if he's even Nigerian, if he's not from Benin Republic, but he pretends to be Nigerian because it's possible in Nigeria that you can be from Benin Republic. Benin Republic. In, that, in Nigeria, they call it Benin Republic. And be associating yourself with the Nigeria. Because if Sia One is indeed a Nigerian, why is it that those Nigerian celebrities cannot associate with him? Why is it that Sia One, I'm telling you that Sia One is a non entity in Nigeria? That's why he knows to say Zambians, a lot of Zambians are gullible people, they like papas. This is the more reason why he, the only place he can make it as a papa is, is, is in this country. He can only make it in this country as a papa. Nigerians don't take nonsense. That's why he can't take that nonsense to Nigeria. That's why he has failed to succeed as a papa in Nigeria and is ever poking his nose in Zambia. Because if Sia One knew that, if Sia One is indeed a prophet, why didn't he prophesy about Tinibu? Why didn't Sia One uh, campaign for uh, Gregory Obi, Peter Obi, Peter Gregory Obi? Why didn't he campaign for him? If Sia One was indeed a prophet, why didn't he foresee? The, the falling currency in Nigeria. Why didn't he prophesy that in Nigeria? Why is it that he has to be stuck to Zambia? Even when he has left, even when he has left Zambia, he's in Nigeria. Why is he stuck with Zambia? It's because he knows to say in Zambia is where we entertain nonsense. In Nigeria, they don't entertain nonsense. That's why he can't talk about Nigeria because when he talks about Nigeria. They will uh, they will remove Amana and Yukoma gadgets. What do you call it? They will castrate him. They will castrate him because Nigerians don't take nonsense. Nigerians don't entertain nonsense. So that is the more reason why that Sia one is ever talking about Zambia. Why has he felt he has failed to talk about Nigeria? Charity begins at home. If charity begins at home, why has Sia One failed to deal with issues in his own country? Why has he failed to prophesy about Nigeria? The people, does Sia One know that in Nigeria, there is Boko Haram, 
There is all these rebel leaders. The insecurities in that country, the security uh, systems in that country are, are failing. Why is he not talking about the security of his people in Nigeria who are being killed every day? Why can't see one focus on those people? Why does he have he has to run to Zambia? Because Zambia, that's where we have gullible people who go in the name of papas. Now here, see one, I'm telling you, there is no room for papas. There is no room for papas. You fix your economy in Nigeria. You focus on the problems of Nigeria. Stop focusing on the problems of Zambia. You will never come back to Zambia. You will never step your foot in this country. You will never. You will never step your foot in this country. You focus on Nigeria. You focus on building. Because if you were indeed a prophet, a true prophet, you can be now, you can be comforting Nigerians. Because Nigerians, the economy is bad. The economy in Nigeria is bad. Why are you not focusing on Nigerian economy? You always talk about Zambian music. Why don't you talk to Benedict Vito? If you are indeed the, an influential person, why is it that we have never seen you with the video? The most influential people in Nigeria were called at the video's wedding. Why were you not called at the video's wedding? If you see one are indeed powerful, why didn't Peter Obi glory or Peter Obi uh, that opposition? Why didn't Abu Bakr that guy those opposition leaders call you to work with them if you are indeed a prophet of change? Because how is it that your prophecies and your pro your, your, your 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 gift of changing government is only in Zambia and not in your own country? How? Because you must prophesy about change in your country, not change in other countries. You are always focusing on other countries, on Zambia especially. Why don't you talk about Museven? If you see a one a true prophet and a true leader as you, as you think you are, go to Uganda and talk about Museven and we shall see if Museven will even figure will even learn. Can. Kagame, there were elections in Rwanda. Kagame won elections. Why didn't you prophesy? Why didn't you prophesy? Because you know that those ones, <laughs> they will follow you where you are and finish you. You are a non-entity where well, you are a non-entity and you are ever talking about Zambia because you know to say Zambians, there is a lot of garbage people who believe in that nonsense of your oil. That oil, you have no powers, where which powers do you have? If you are the powers, if you indeed you are, you are the powers, a god of powers or whatever it is, why have you failed to use those powers to change poverty in your country? Why have you failed to change poverty in your country if indeed you are a powerful person? If you are indeed a powerful person, why have you failed? Why did you fail to travel to Rwanda? Why did, have you failed to, to advise Museveni? Why have you failed to advise presidents in Africa? Other presidents in Africa, why have you failed to do that? You, you, you always talk about Zambia because Zambians are gullible and desperate. You have seen the desperation in Zambians to, to, to make riches faster. Those nonsense oils don't even work. That nonsense oil doesn't work. Why is it that you always have to market your oil in Zambia? Why is it that your oil, your blessings, your powers have failed to change lives in Nigeria? Why have they failed to change lives in Nigeria? Those your powers, your so-called powers, your Sangoma powers, you have failed to change lives in Nigeria. You want to come and change lives in Zambia. Idiot. Who do you think? You are nothing in West Year One. You are nothing. You are just a squambapa. You are just a squambapa. You are nothing. There is no way. And you Zambians, because you listen to papas, you believe that papas are those who come from outside the country. No, we have Zambian pastors here. We have pastors in Zambia. We have men of God in Zambia. True men of God. True men of God that even fear God properly. Than that nonsense. Than that, 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 that thing, that Sagoma, that, that guy was nothing. That guy, you Zambians forget that. That guy, that self-proclaimed papa, was saying that he is the one who was behind the death of Karisto Chitamfia Jr. 
He talked about saying he was the reason why Karisto Chitamvia Jr. died. Why would you Zambians still believe and still support a person that claims to have killed a Zambian? You Zambians, open up your minds. How can a papa, you've got your pastors, you've got pastors, you've got bishops, you've got all these people. Why can't you go to those, your pastors? Why can't you go to your men of God, but you're relying on that nonsense called Sia One? Sia One, you're nothing. You are nothing. Stop even involving body, stop involving a church in your nonsense. Of, there is no way you there is no way HH can allow you to come you thought that you can you can you can brainwash HH you can't brainwash HH you can't brainwash this government that is there you can't brainwash them they don't believe in papa powers believing in working the reason why is look right now you are failing to succeed in your country so now you have no food where you are staying you have not you are faking a life now you want to come to zambia now the way of coming to zambia there is no way of coming to zambia now you want to be a prophet of doom over zambia you shall not prophesy doom over zambia makaka musulawi Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.